Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, we are going to be talking about some helpful technologies that you can use as shore fishermen and help you increase your chances of catching fish, especially when you're exploring a new area. Okay, so um, this is what I've been using, guys. Anywhere I go, I actually carry these things with me. And especially with the phone, I have two that I use and this particular one is the one that that's actually my workhorse now this is a Huawei it, it's not awfully expensive uh, not available in the States I believe but there are some um, countries outside or maybe you could still get them in the States but not readily um, the, the biggest thing with this is the camera and the battery life. So it takes really good videos and pictures. As you know, we all need that. That's one. And two, the battery life on this is just amazing. Okay, so uh, aside from the obvious, I use this a lot just because the battery lasts a really long time. This is the Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro. And this can be even used as a charger. It's an old phone. I got it brand new before launch, and uh, that, that's the thing. Uh, the thing that, that really attracted me was the battery life and the camera, and that's it, okay? So I use this a lot for my fishing, okay? Before we get into all the details, uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, this channel talks about fishing, tips and tricks. We cover everything from ultralight all the way up to big game, everything in the middle, including fly fishing. And hopefully the videos that I make help you become better fishermen. Now, um, for those who have subscribed, thank you very, very much. Happy, happy new year to everyone. Uh, thank you, thank you very much for the support and looking forward to a very strong 2021 ahead of us. Okay, so uh, I know that there are a lot of guys that know about Google Earth and Google Maps, and rightfully so, it's great. Okay, now, if you go to Navionics, go to Navionics, they, and then you go to the chart viewer, you actually get taken to a chart, just like this one. And the most important thing here is that you can actually see the bottom contours. And uh, I, I, I'm not too sure if a lot of people are actually using this, but this is actually very, very, very useful. And uh, coverage is actually worldwide. Now, the very good thing about this is when you zoom in, you see so much detail, as you can see there, so much detail. And mind you, it's free. So you can see some holes, some ledges, the depths. Uh, there are some markers, and there are some guys that actually mark really good spots for fishing, some danger areas and all that. Uh, navigation assistance like... Uh, there's a note here, all vessels are required to pass at least three meters clear of this work because there's uh, some work going on around this area here. Uh, gas lines and all this for the case here in, in Dubai. But as you can see, it's it's really showing you a lot of detail. Now, they're not 100% accurate, but the thing is, when you're, especially when you're, you're uh, shore fishing, you want to see some of the details that you don't really see. Okay, so like take for example, let's uh, let's go to some uh, really random area here. Uh, this is, where is this? Yeah, that's Sharjah. There we go. So like take for example this one. You can see a, a lot of detail, depth, and there's that nice hole right there. Or actually not a hole, but kind of like a bump, you know? So there's, there's a lot of detail that you don't find. And, Unless you actually have a fish finder and actually go to the spot, but it gives you an indication of where the drops are. So like take for example, if you can go up to this uh, breakwater here, I'm not saying that you can't, this is just an example. Okay guys, so you know, you know that there's going to be a drop and the drop actually bends as you can see there. So there's, there's some detail that you can see that you can't really see in Google Earth. So this gives you a, a bit more detail. Okay, so, I mean, phones now are, are very, very advanced, okay? Another thing is Google itself, really. You know, there's a lot of information online, and even even if you're, take for example, just fishing in a, uh, 
a place where it's kind of general, there's going to be fishing reports. And some of them are actually live. So while you're fishing, you can check to see exactly what's happening. Now, um, I use Tides for Fishing. And Tides for Fishing is an international website that shows you the good uh, tides to fish to fish in um, in several locations all over the world. Actually, a very, very good reference. Now, as far as the Salunar tables are concerned, that that that's really up to you if you believe it or not. But um, most importantly, you actually see a live status of the water. Okay, you can see that it's lo low tide and it's rising. High tide is at 140. Let's say this is, I believe, Dubai. Okay, so it's showing Dubai. It's showing my location, which is quite handy uh, if you have locations turned on on your phone or when you're connected to uh, your data, it actually kind of knows where you're at so it gives you a very accurate reading of the tide now aside from that uh yeah i mean it shows you when the fish are supposedly biting uh kind of uh, this is just kind of like a yardstick i don't really stick to this sort of thing but it gives you really good information so wave direction significant height wave period or intervals so a lot of really good information there uh water temperature air temperature which is very important when you're fishing so a lot of information is actually in this website and again it's free pressure and all that uh and then you look at i believe this has some wind as well so everything that you need is just really literally at your fingertips so a lot of information here okay now um you can check the uh the wind there but i like going to a different site which is wind guru and you could also do a uh, wind finder it really depends on which one but we're looking at the united states and maui here um you can switch your locations of course they also have tides and all this but the thing here is that you can see the direction of the wind the day and the speed of the wind, which is very important. Now, even when you're shore fishing, you're not kayak fishing, it's it's quite important to know exactly what the state is of the place that you're going to fish in. So that's quite important. Um, more so with kayak fishing, because you're actually going offshore. So just for safety purposes, it's always a good idea to check the weather and the tides before you go, okay? now. A few years ago, I found that there was this thing here, okay, deeper. And I met a guy in a boat show. And, you know, I spoke to him about the system and all this. And I found it really interesting. Anyway, fast forward, we have this. And it has been a very, very indispensable tool because especially if you are fishing in an area where you don't know you have eyes this is aside from aside from knowing how to read water and all this which i actually know how to do it inshore offshore it doesn't matter looking for the obvious like take for example water flows outflows current lines uh color breaks and all this yes you can you can always see that with your eyes you can observe and everything birds all that great but this has become quite an indispensable tool because it can see what i can't okay i cast it out as far as i could i i can't see what's underneath 100 100 meters in front of me okay this can okay 50 or what's crucial for me is where my casts would land from the maximum all the way down to the middle and then ultimately towards the tip of my rod tip this can see it at least give me an idea of exactly how the area is now the good thing about this is that you can map out an area you can fan cast and then pretty much what happens is that you see or have an idea of what's in front of you and then when you move to a certain uh location probably a few steps or a few meters away all you have to do is just do that again and it only takes 
such a short amount of time to actually get the data. Now, this is the pro version. So this has GPS and the mapping function. I, I'm not too sure about the, the lower model ones, but I have that. Um, very, very useful. And the cost is not that bad. Also quite durable. I have the, uh, the orange lid here. And this is for night fishing. But see, the thing is, I, I just like the fact that it's it's quite visible from far. Now, they don't pay me for this, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm showing this to you because uh, this is what I use. Okay, I'm not being sponsored by Huawei or Deeper. This is what I use. Okay, and I'm not sponsored, obviously, by these websites that I showed you. But again, I'm just showing you very, very useful tools that you could use while in, you're in the water. And you know what's funny too, you know, uh, sometimes when you're fishing, you get bored and there's just no bites and, you know, you want to relax or anything, you have your phone, you know, you can watch YouTube videos to see exactly what you're missing. You could just do a search. Very, again, this is not something available to me while I was growing up. And in this day and age, it's amazing what you can actually find and do while you're fishing. Now, just as long as you have cell phone reception, there's all that resource in, in YouTube and Google and the internet in general, you know? Uh, sometimes you could just go to, if you have like, take for example, you have this new lure and you don't know how to use it. All you have to do is do either a Google search or a search in YouTube and then type in sinking stick bait, how to work it. And then a video would pop up and then you'll have an idea. So it's kind of like having all, well, it's not kind of like it is having all these tools available to you. And this was not available to us when we were growing up, you know, at least guys from my age and older, but everyone is enjoying all of these. You just have to know what to look for and use. And th these things are great. You know, I, I mean, I especially like this because it takes the guesswork out of everything. Even if you 100% know what you're doing with reading water and all of this, it just takes the guesswork away. You know, it's always kind of like when you're reading water, you know that there's a, there's a ledge there. Okay, the, 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 the drop off is there. But what's beyond the drop off? You know, what's holding if there's if that drop off has fish or not. So this takes the guesswork. You know, cast it out. You see if there's fish there or not. If there's none, move on. You know, if there's no weed and if you're looking for something that actually hides amongst the weeds, if you don't see fish there, you can literally move on and look for more productive areas. And this is what I love about technology these days. They're, they're very, very portable. I mean, look, you know. Anyway, so guys, if you have other technologies that you wish to share, please comment down below and then we'll start a very, very healthy discussion. If you don't like the deeper, suggest something else so that everyone that's watching the video will have an idea of what better system, uh, better systems there are that's available out there. Uh, they've upgraded this now. They have the Chirp version. Uh, for me, it's just kind of a pair of eyes. I don't really use them as something uh, that complicates things. You know, chirp would be nice, but I'm not dying to have it, you know, so I'm not running to the store and getting one. But uh, even the basic, basic version of this that just shows you the contours and everything, the, the drop, exactly how deep it is and all that, that's, that's way more than enough and way more than I need. Uh, as far as going to the place, locating places, there's Google Earth, how to get there, there's Google Maps seeing the contours and having a clue before I go there, there's Navionics, seeing, uh, knowing if the wind is okay. Wind Guru, we have uh, tides for fishing to see if the tide is uh, high at what time or if it's low and all this. So all of this, it's planning and being present uh, with your fishing in real time. I mean, you know, information in real time. So if you guys are not utilizing some of these websites, guys, seriously, do it. It'll change your fishing. All right. So that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope this is going to be very useful for a lot of people. And again, 
please comment on other technologies you use that I might have missed out on or I've missed out on so that we learn from each other. All right, so that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy New Year, guys. We made it to 2021.